do we want to talk about IPv6 before getting into just moving on? I'm not sure there's anything of interest in there. No, it's just, it, it's, it's more ipv 6 <laughs> Okay, M moving on to, as you said, the third Antichrist, <laughs> uh, Microsoft, a and we've gotten contents about this. We're 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 gonna be. I thought this case was settled. No, it wasn't settled. Microsoft lost it. They appealed it, and it's been appealed all the way up through the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court said, Microsoft, the original ruling holds. You have infringed on the patent. Pay the damn money! <laughs> well, they refuse to hear the case, which is just upholding the lower court. Yeah, uh, basically, the, uh, no, yeah, they didn't actually rule on it. They just said, Microsoft, go away. <laughs> it's like, you lost. Stop bitching. Pay the money. It's a good chunk. Uh, there's a rumor going around that one of the lower courts told them to put the money in uh, escrow or earnest or whatever the hell it's called like where they give the money but it doesn't actually go to the client yet like they ha it, uh, but this isn't confirmed but the rumor is to even appeal to the supreme which basically ignored ignored it like bit saying they had to put the money aside so if that is the case this money should be being distributed within a month and it shouldn't hurt Microsoft. Microsoft's got their hands in just about everything. Well, no, and you know they're having that time-honored technique of making money off of somebody else's work. <laughs> Android. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, well, it's not only that they got their hands in the phone market. They also got those Phone Seven, which I heard died. And then they got the Xbox, and then they got the. Uh, oh no, the X, the Xbox. I think only recently. Uh, and that's only because the consoles are sticking around so long this run, only recently started to even make a profit at all. But that's not what the X... Well, they're going to show off their new Xbox. Yeah, well, no, and so that, that's the thing. And so it, it's so long, you know, well, well, because, the economy. because these new consoles are so expensive, they take this long to even have a prayer's chance of making the people making them money. You know, especially in the Xbox. In the Xbox, Microsoft lost money on every single Xbox they sold until very recently. But that's not what the Xbox was about. The Xbox was about establishing DirectX and establishing Microsoft products as a standard for gaming and platform and so on. And that's what they yeah, did. But Nintendo, you know, they made money on every we never sold. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, but Nintendo was a different type of gaming. I don't think Microsoft... Oh, Nintendo sold a cheap-ass console. Yeah, no, that was the thing. I don't think Microsoft honestly cared if they, totally. ever made, if they ever made money on the Xbox. It did its job, which was to establish DirectX. Uh, uh, now, what I'm more interested in on this XML thing is, now that this has been officially upheld, is this going to start a back wave of more patent trolling to pay for this? And uh, what is this going to do to everybody else who's using the XML? Because uh, Microsoft is not the only one infringing on this patent. It's not actually for XML, but it's for a use of XML that is widely used. Well, they haven't gone after Apple, and Apple's using XML for just about everything. No, that, that's the thing. I, I, I have to go through this patent and its specifics, but this has implications against Apple, oh, uh, Libre, Open, all kinds. I mean, at the end of the day, will this victory for this little small company who owns this patent result in the death of XML? Because it's not actually against XML, but this use of XML is pretty much predominant industry-wide. Well, you mean like you will Will it wind up like how get it, what, what happened almost to GIF when the people who own the copyrights of the GIFs almost sued just about everybody out there? Yeah, basically we all started using other formats. We just kind of moved off of GIF. Yeah, we used Flash. <laughs> That's what happened. That's that solution. 
Hey, I, I mean, it's like, do we think that'll happen here? Do you think they're just going to work out a, a cheap uh, settlement with everybody else now that they have the Microsoft judgment? They, what do we think is going to be the end result of this? Well, I think Apple it didn't break the uh, patent with the XML. It was just Microsoft, but I don't know. Yeah, but Apple's doing the same thing. They, they're still compatible with Word documents, so they're, they're, they're breaking the same patents, you know? What, because of Word document? No. No, uh, you don't understand. Uh, XML is the basic format of iWork and also Final Cut. Yeah. Hmm. XML is used for a lot more things than just spreadsheets. No, I'm just saying since they're compatible with that format, there are, yeah. Well, no, and it's not the X. The, K, it, the K, XML is what's getting the spotlight here, but it's, it actually has nothing to do with the XML format. It has to do with the handling of sheets in the XML format. Uh, XML is 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 still a format everybody can use, but the standard everybody kind of gravitated towards because of its usefulness is in violation of this patent. So basically, there's a lot of stuff using XML that needs to be rewritten, or do licensing, or switch to something else. This is this is one of those things that can be industry-wide disruptive, uh, depending how it proceeds from here. Well, Apple could probably pay them off. You know, the patents are good. You know, they 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 do they do they do a lot to help innovation. Don't you agree? <laughs> Oh, uh, I, 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 I don't personally have a problem. I don't know. But Marcel, where's your two cents on patents? Do you think they're good, bad? Yeah, I think they're good. I, I, I don't have a problem with patents in and of themselves. What I have a problem yeah, it's just, with... It's just what they approve. It's, yeah, no. The, the, the patent really the, should exist. Well, no, that's but, the thing. The problem here isn't that we have patents, and that's what that's what the argument's becoming. Patents are bad. Get rid of the evil patents. I'm like... Right, the, they're attacking the wrong target. Yeah, they should be attacking the patent and trademark office that's not doing its due diligence on, on these applications and rubber stamping things that never should have made it past their office. Yeah, you know, but when... Do you think that will ever happen, that the patent, the patent office will actually get this shit together? Um, unfortunately, nobody sees the value in properly funding it to allow it to actually have the resources it needs to do the due diligence. So, so at the end... No internal audit. Yeah, basically at I the end of the... I don't know if it's a funding problem. My mother has been in patent law for years and... They charge hefty fees, let me tell you. Uh, okay, so so what's the issue here? Because the, the impression I'm I getting... the lack of knowledge. I mean, basically, you, they, the, uh, when a patent is started, they go and use a, a law firm like the one my mother works for, and then they, the, the lawyer there is supposed to be an engineer. And uh, most of them are. And a, a lot of them are just used to energy patents like valves and things like this, or you know, hard products. But when you start getting into software, you can use words that maybe differentiate something, but if the engineer there is not really a software engineer, understands the inner workings of it, wordplay may show the differentiation via legal words, but yeah. the actual function yeah, will show right kind of the, well, no, and, and, and say like that you don't want to talk to a, um, a, an astronomer about global warming, you know, you want to talk to a scientist, but a That's scientist that actually knows about global warming in this field of study, you know? Well, and, and the, 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 the impression I'm getting here is that it's one of two people that's causing this problem, and on a case-by-case -case basis, it may be two things. A, 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 the impression one I'm getting is when it goes to the patent or trademark or copyright office, they get this proposal in front of them, and due to their ignorance, they just kind of take the application in front of them at face value and assume it it is accurate and not misleading. And let's, you know, let's be frank here. I mean, part of the process, part of the vetting process are, are the courts of law, in essence. So if there are patent disputes in the courts of law, then let it be that way. They're actually part of the filtering process. Let's say we absolutely just have terrible vetting of, of services and technology. Well, Apple's going to file what they think is suitable uh, as a patent, but it better be defendable. They better have a damn good defense. And, 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 well, no, and that comes up to the second thing. The reality is, a lot of times, even if the patent will have no water through the court, and you're right, the court is part of the vetting process. 
but it costs a lot of money to go through that process. That's right. Yeah, so, so if you want to so save up money, then you better. Really, the two yeah. things we need is more due diligence on this side and court reform on this side. So when due diligence fails, it's efficient for the check to occur. Yeah. Do you think there should be a way to override patents and see if they're valid or really kind of like a recall? Wait, you know, so wait a minute. Clear, guys. Let's be clear. It, let's say I make something and Apple already has a patent on it. And Apple seeks, actually goes out and seeks and says, damn it, Mr. Bit, you violated our patent. That means you're already actively aggressive in trying to pursue and maybe find a way to have extra income or some sort of royalty licensing on top of it. If, if the vetting process fails, Right, and it's not terribly blatant. And Apple could pro probably figure it out themselves and say, "Well, it's close enough, but we're too, yeah, it's not worth us to sue them." Because remember, it's not the government getting involved in suing; it's the party that says, "Damn it, you violated our lawsuit." And, th and in that action, I'm I'm foreseeing that well, some some sort of mon there's monetary value to them that uh, that they want to protect and go after. So they're the ones that are instigating, and then going to the courts process to defend what they feel they have a legal defense in saying, whether it leads to a royalty or a license or a settlement, which most of these cases end up doing anyway, and they're doing it to each other. And I think that's how they establish a lot of pricing with these products. Um, like we were discussing Android, you know, if they keep suing every hardware vendor, well, they, they in essence... Well, I'd say that, that my, my, my real problem on that side is that, you know, if their problem really is with Android, the court should kind of be telling them if your problem is with Android, shouldn't you be suing Google? But they couldn't. They couldn't do that because Google doesn't represent a handset. Google represents an operating system. And in itself, they're linking it as a package, as a hardware. See, they don't want to punish Google because, in essence, it would, it would be a very good lawsuit to go after. But if they go after every single uh, hardware vendor that uses Android, they well, no, but see that. that that, that's the thing. Like you're saying, it's not cost effective for them to go after Google because that's a case they might lose. If they go after other people no, who are more likely to... It's not a monetary... What are they going to do? I mean, there's, there, Google's not making money from Android other than probably the trademark of the Android name and then all the Google services that they implement through it, which, which, which they make their, their money. Remember that the, their finance model is drastically different. Well, so, um, ha but the hardware vendor's model is not. They're, they're making hardware profits. They just happen to be using an operating system uh, and licensing model that's very different from Apple's. And so if they, and Microsoft's involved with this too, that's part of HTC paying uh, Microsoft for every Android handset going out. That applies a price tag to Android, even though it's not directly, it's indirectly priced. And well, so no, they, and, and so that, 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 that's the thing. That they're using something that was licensed to them that, in, in my opinion, doesn't actually violate these... It, it, here's the thing. If this was to actually go through the courts, I think that would fall apart. The problem is it costs more to take it through the courts than to just... Hey, the breaks. blackmail. It, it, that's how it all gets started. That's how we all go get into. into well, no, but the, that, that's the problem here. If something is, if, well, this is the other reason there's so little respect for patents today. Because the way the end user, average people, look up on patents is patents aren't an excuse to steal people's money for something that you didn't invent. That's the honest look up, and it's caused by that. It's cheaper to pay somebody for something they didn't invent than to actually prove they didn't invent it. You know that that's the cynicism. That's, that's, that's with, an opportunity cost, right? Well, that's but an that that cost that valuation, like we were discussing. AT&T wants to get T-Mobile. Why? It's cheaper to capture an already in place logistical network than building your own. Overnight, you can expand your data and your cell coverage immediately. And so, yeah, when you look into a camp, well, you know, and a good, then again, I'm a big fan of if the regulators are going to approve them purchasing T-Mobile, one of the conditions should be get rid of your bandwidth caps. <laughs> you know, you, you've, you've now expanded your network. You don't need them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like this iCloud guys, they're I, I, they're a troll, and and so is that the Lodge whole thing. And there's people I'm sure that like people capture domain names that they 
No, 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 no. See, it, like, you're right on that. It's it's the same stuff. You know, it's uh, and actually, you know, Tiny's friend went and bought HillaryClinton.com before the last election, made a killing off of it. Has <laughs> the has the, 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 the trademarks and patents can be confusing. I mean, I mean, DC and Warner Brothers and Marvel and Disney owned trademark of superhero. It's a ubiquitous term, you know. You know, that's right up there with Subway and... It's like if Apple... It's like, it's like if Apple and uh, Microsoft owned the patent or trademarks that were computer, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah
is going to cost you a good chunk of your paycheck. You know, you better have three to five hundred dollars if you're actually going to use the thing on the go. Uh, and Sprint is saying, no, nah, give us a hundred bucks a month and do whatever the hell you want. You know, that, that's you know, a, didn't, didn't federal money raise uh, step into the phone industry, like the landlines back in the day? And you can still say the 730 worked on a phone, you know? Well, they, they, not stepping in on the mobile market and I don't think they're going to they're basically give it there's basically it's a 180 view in the mobile market that they can screw you however the hell they want because they say we have competition and you can go somewhere else uh, yeah, where else how can I get good coverage if I'm going to good, get, get, get a good competition now yeah why I have a track phone yeah I I, I I would why I don't like Apple's products, I would like to see the iOS devices come to Sprint just so it can be an open competitive field uh, so that people who want to go that route don't have to choose between bankrupting themselves and using this. I have a hard time understanding why anybody would choose iOS over Android or other There's offerings like right like now, that. but I'm sure there are some people who prefer them. Well, I have an iPod Touch, so I don't have any network under my iOS device. Well, let's yeah. see, see, there's no nationwide Wi-Fi in this country, so if you really do need... A, that's the thing I don't understand. Buying... A, I, where's your two cents on this, Marcel? You sound like... You, you look like you're bored. Like, do, do, is there a point... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening. <laughs> No, I, 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 here's the thing. I don't understand the point of buying these mobile devices, whether you're getting a Zoom or an iPad or whatever, uh, if if you can't use it mobile. You know, the point of getting the mobile device is to be able to be mobile, and part of that means having internet you can actually use, as opposed to internet you must think very carefully about each usage. And <laughs> You know? No, they'll get that thousand dollar bill. You know, that's. I I think it's interesting. What's the problem? I should run a little wall. Well, no, it, 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 like I, I'm still waiting for that app. Both Android iOS, and I guess BlackBerry and Phone Seven are both still waiting for that app. Both Android iOS, and I guess BlackBerry and Phone Seven, they all need this app. That's a widget that sits in your corner and just goes ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Like you tell it how much you pay for data and how much you're allowed to use, and it just monitors your usage, and it goes, ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. As you use the Internet, it says, you've spent this much. To put it in terms every idiot can understand, because that's a number every idiot will understand. They'll open an email. It'll go up five cents. They're like, that email was not worth five cents. <laughs> <laughs> well, that YouTube video was not worth three bucks. Yeah, it's like they'll... they'll then they'll begin to realize, and then the, it's like he'll do one of two things. It'll either kill the industry, or it will create mass public outrage to kill AT&T, kill Verizon! There we go, you know. Yeah. Well, it's like, what, 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 the reality is, um, I know this is cynical, and, and y'all tell me if you think I'm way off base. Usually I give the average user... Uh, way too much credit. I think they're not a moron. In this case, I think this is one of those things that the average user doesn't equate this. They don't, they, they don't do the math in their head and realize that they're living in a five cents an email, three dollars a YouTube. Like, they, it, it doesn't click for some reason. You know, when I do math in my head about foreign currency, like, I can convert the yen to a dollar and I can convert the euro to a dollar and play for Oh, no. I'm just going to say with my iPod Touch, I can just hook it up to my own uh, Wi-Fi network. Yeah, but you have to have Wi-Fi everywhere. The point of being mobile yeah. is being mobile, you know, online. You're like, why have part of being mobile, you know? Well, what about you, Bit? Do <laughs> you have an opinion on that or move on? Uh, not really. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you know what? I, I, I'm surprised. You and I have hashed mobile stuff so much on this. Oh, stuff. there's a lot of mobile <laughs> shit. Yeah. I, 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 okay, uh, moving. I'm almost afraid they're going to, uh, Apple's going to pop up and say, now introducing the mini iPod. <laughs> they already have that, I thought. It's called the Nano. Anyways. Yeah, 
Uh, Apple has apparently joined the industry in saying XP should die. <laughs> it's like, I'm surprised to see that, honestly, because... I'm surprised that Microsoft said before they did. Yeah, well, no, I mean, it's, it's obvious why Microsoft wants Windows XP to die, but why would Apple want XP to die? I guess XP is the Microsoft Leopard, you know? <laughs> uh, well, I, I, if I were in Apple's position, I wouldn't, I wouldn't honor XP either. I mean, they, it doesn't have the security layers that uh, Vista and, and Windows and, and 7 do. I mean, quite frankly, they're still susceptible. The the all the what is the, the remote procedure call worms can still uh, yeah. affect many XP systems. I wouldn't bother putting my iCloud stuff on it if I'm worried about user experience. I'd say sorry. You know, learn to uh, get Windows Seven. Um, and, and, and there are people who that just isn't an option for, but it's just the industry change okay. going on. So no updates for T4O either, huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, XP is also accessible to uh, people writing programs and say, uh, oh, crap, what was it? Ah, uh, I forgot the programming code. Anyway. Anyways. Oh, programming language? I think it's talking about the .NET stuff. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, they have Darknet for it. Okay. Really. Well, .NET for XP was basically, it, here's a nice programming language, and it has control over your entire desktop, and you can't do crap about it. <laughs> Anyways, mo moving on.